Hey friends, today we are doing a removal of an old faucet. So this is a Delta faucet we had before. Um, just a couple issues. So when you try to turn off the water, if you don't come up and close it from the bottom, it'll just keep dripping. So if you try to just close it like that, it's just gonna keep draining. So you have to have to actually kind of guide it in from the bottom to turn it off. Another thing when you keep pushing over it, this part comes off here like this. So it has to be tightened up and put back in place. Uh, that's not really that big of a deal, that's doable. But the main thing is uh, when we would take this part off and hose it around and use it to fill up things, um, the, the rubber inside of there um, breaks down over time and causes black stuff to get in your water and that kind of just sticks to everything it's kind of disgusting so that's the main reason i'm getting rid of this um i really like the faucet it was it was pretty much perfect for this sink but it's got to go because i can't be drinking black stuff in my water and and i don't know if i can change out this hose or not i might be able to but um i'm going to try to get with delta and get a uh, replacement or something like that well i have a replacement ready but see if i can't since uh delta faucets have a lifetime warranty uh, just three little issues there um but the main one is like i said the black stuff in the water so first of all what you want to do for taking these out is turn off your water so we're just going to go down to the sink level here slowly all right, I got my lights on down there, among other things, so. Let's get down to, to under counter level here. So I got my, uh, I got my uh, water controls here. So turn them to the right, remember right tidy. Lovely. That's dripping water, almost like a faucet. So that's not good. Hopefully, if we. Oh boy. Okay. And this one also turns off. If we turn to the right. Okay, so that one's not dripping at least. Now that that is turned off, we need to access underneath the sink. And that's gonna be fun to get at. So let's try to get you guys a view of that while we go under there and unscrew that. All right, here we are under the sink. Ugh, I forgot how cramped it was under here. So we'll unscrew this one and this one. Hopefully they're just hand tightened. Doesn't appear to be. Um, lovely. I am at a very bad angle here as far as being able to get any kind of leverage. But, okay, that was enough. Okay, so it was hand tightened. Just tight and kind of tight. Now, once those are off, you can just kind of spin them off like that. So that's not bad once you get the initial loosening there. All right, there's one down. That wasn't too bad. Now we got to get that other one. So, oh, my goodness. Spin that off of there too. Alrighty. Okay. Now what do we got? Now. 
Culper is this guy right here. It seems like that's just hand tightened, so hang on a second. I don't think it's hand tightened. We'll see. Okay, so it just so happens that I can unscrew this by hand also because the years of, like I showed you at the top where it was loose there, that was making it, it's, it was sliding over because it was loosened. So this is another one we can just untighten. So what I did was went up at the top and just moved that off its track there a little bit. And that allowed me to be able to loosen it by hand here. So a lot of threads here for sure. So slowly but surely that's a good forearm workout there. My goodness, how long are these threads here? Are you kidding me right now? Holy cow. I feel like I just really starting to feel a burn here. Oh my goodness. Really feeling the burn. Is that coming off or not? My goodness. Okay, finally, good golly. That's off of there. Okay, so now that that is undone, I'm gonna have to disconnect this little um, deal here. And it's got two plastic parts that just attached there. So probably gonna get some water coming out of here. So I just move this plastic part off if I can. Come on. Just like that. And just pull this out. Oh yeah, a little bit of water. Okay, not too much water though. And that allows the weights to slide off of there. So. I already have a towel under here, so I think that that's all loose and now um, I have two other ones to do, and that's the the main lines on the going onto the water line. So we're gonna loosen those up, take those off, and we'll be uh, free and clear. Okay, so one thing you want to test kind of is if your valves are actually turning off the water. So I turn these off all the way and then I turn on my water up here at the top. And water still coming out. So I'm going to have to turn off the water at the street here to do that. So I'll be back. All right, turn off the water. Let's Test it. Yes, indeed. We're out of water. Okay. Now that that is done, we can unscrew our uh, lines right there and there. And I just have some uh, channel locks. Hopefully, we can just unscrew that without too much issue. So lefty loosey and righty tighty so we're gonna move it that way oops righty tighty lefty loosey that's right why does it seem like i'm tightening it right no i'm going the right way okay so So, left, is this left or? I feel 
feels like that. What? Okay, I'm confused here. My goodness. Um, so righty, righty tidy is going to be this way. So lefty loosey will be this way. Okay, so I was tightening it. That's nice. Okay, let's try this again the correct way, shall we? Okay, there we go. That's a little better. And I'm getting some water coming out there. That's okay. All right, that one's done. Get our other one over there. And loosen that up, hopefully. Slow going. Uh, I'm getting my fingers now. Let's see. Mm. Oh, of course not. Why would we be able to, right? Uh, okay, so. Lovely. Okay. Now we are free and clear to pull that out of there. Hopefully. Okay. So, hoist away. That is how you remove an old faucet. Okay. Clean this up a little bit here. Get ready for the new one. So that, my friends, is how you remove a faucet. So thanks for watching this video. Everyone have a great day, and I'll see you next time for another how-to video.